and I boil and I'm quitting alcohol. So I've noticed this over the last few weeks since I started working. Down in the pit where I'm working, the pit of hell, I get no reception. I get no internet reception. I can't do shit on my phone. So at the start of every shift, I just turn it off. I'm like, I don't want to waste the battery because I want to listen to some shit on the drive home. So I'll just go full fucking blank. And after about the first week and a half, I started to be able to do the job on autopilot. So what started happening was when I could do the job on autopilot, like, I've got my earmuffs on, I can't hear shit, I've got sunnies on, and you're just doing a repetitive thing or whatever. You're just in your own little bubble world there, and it doesn't take too much thinking to do whatever you're doing. So, what starts happening is all the things, all the thoughts, everything that you normally are trying to avoid, or you normally you try and distract yourself with anything, with eating, your phone, fucking just anything. Everything you do is pretty much just a distraction so you don't have to deal with these incoming thoughts. And as soon as you fucking cut off the distractions, the thoughts come in. And when I'm down in the pit, there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to deal with the thoughts coming in. So you fucking, they're pushing through. They're finally there. So they're there all the time. They're always there. We know they're always there. Whatever thoughts, what, whatever is troubling you about the past, the present, the future, whatever is on your mind, it's always there. But you've got this wall of distraction keeping it at bay for a little while. The phone, reading, TV, fucking a movie, jerking off jiu-jitsu, fucking even positive st- things like gym, running. Running maybe no because you can get into the fucking zone in running if you don't have headphones in. Fucking podcasts, there's another distraction. But these thoughts are there. It's just there's a barrier between you and the thoughts and the barrier is the distraction. So down... <laughs> Down in the pit, I have no fucking barrier and I'm forced just to think the thoughts and process them. And I've noticed I'm like really banked up. I didn't realize how fucking much I'm keeping certain things at bay. And I even stopped a few times. I'm like, where the fuck are all these thoughts coming from? Well, like, what the fuck is this? These emotions and what's going on? And I realized, I'm like, that's what's happening. Like, I'm fucking addicted to my phone and I'm twit- on Twitter just scrolling, looking up information, trying to think of things. And the reason is, is because I don't want to fucking deal with whatever the wall of fucking thoughts are. And so down in the pit, I've just had to let them take over. At certain stages, just I'm like, all right, this is part of the process. This is like a clearing out of things that need to be fucking processed that I've just been putting off. And I think that's what meditation essentially is. It just gives yourself a little bit of time to clear the fucking inventory because there's only so much you can keep yourself in a like a cocoon of distraction like a shield of distraction before the thoughts and the emotions and whatever's going on they're just healthy even the bad thoughts or whatever it's all healthy shit you just need to process it you just need to let yourself process it that's it you just need to sit there grip onto a chair or something and just let whatever thought (laughs) Or whatever fucking emotion needs to overwhelm you for like a couple of seconds or a minute or a few minutes and then let it pass. And that's a healthy thing. Even if it's like bad or whatever, it's healthy just to let it do its thing. 
But if you try and keep yourself in this cocoon, force field of distraction, it just starts building up on the outside of the cocoon. Just everything, everything you're putting off, everything you're not thinking about, everything that you're avoiding on the outside of the distractions. So the only thing you can do to keep everything at bay is just get more and more fucking distracted. And eventually, the distractions have to become more and more extreme. But eventually, it breaks through. Like, you have to deal with this shit, like, regardless. Because the weight of everything that's trying to break through, it eventually breaks through. Unless you, like, the only way you can stop it temporarily is just get more and more extreme. Drinking, heroin, drugs, fucking just... (laughs) <laughs> just bury yourself but it's still coming through regardless it's going to make its way through any little crack in your force field it's coming through and then the weight of it will just like crush you so you you need to have a little bit of time like i would say even like 10 minutes fucking each day just to sit in silence and just let whatever needs to be processed, process. I don't even know what it is. Sometimes I'm shocked. I'm like, oh, why am I thinking about Why is that a thing I need to be thinking about? And it is pretty uncomfortable as well. You're like, ugh, all right, all right. And I just do like a few <laughs> like deep breaths. It's so funny. I'm down in the pit. And no one really knows how close to insanity I really am. Like, I'm right on the edge of insanity and I just look like some worker down in the pit fixing some waterproofing. (laughs) But I'm like... But I'm like... (sighs) 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 All right. All right. I haven't got a phone. I've got nothing else to distract me. Just deal with it. And eventually, you moderate everything anyway. Anyway, that's just a little bit of fucking insight I've had lately. I need to start meditating again, but fucking when? When am I going to meditate? Maybe a little bit in the morning? Do I get up even earlier? I already get up at fucking 5.30. Do I get up at 5 and meditate? I don't know. I need to work this shit out. Anyway, fucking... That'll do it. I've got another day off tomorrow and the next day. I'm fucking loving life at the moment. But yeah, that will fucking do. And I'll see you the fuck later.